Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I'm experimenting. I had the lovely Camille um, from Australia commenting on my Facebook, no, no, on my, on a previous video about how um, I, she thinks I've just answered her question as to why she doesn't get any cells. So what, um, what she had become aware of was that she thinks she stirs her silicon into her paint too much and so what happens when you stir the silicon in is it just it breaks it down so if you get a sense of making um making mayonnaise so when you're making mayonnaise you've got egg vinegar and oil are the three basic ingredients and pretty much what you do is you beat it so much that the oil emulsifies <coughs> into and the and the fats from the egg um, emulsify into the whites from the egg and the um, vinegar and it thickens and it becomes this conglomeration that doesn't separate so what I'd love to show you um, in this video is how that looks in regards to painting and with regards to stirring your oils in too much. <clears throat> so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do three three tests and um, I've mixed up here some chromacryl and I'm using chromacryl because this is tests on cardboard it doesn't dry properly I'm good with that so I've, I've mixed up the chromacryl with flow troll and water like I normally do and let's just tilt this on the side so you can see how, how runny it is it's just runs off it will sit on the top of the stick oh, where are you there but when I tilt just runs off like that all right so so I've mixed them both to a similar consistency never get them quite the same because they're always paints are different just put it that way even from the same brand they're all different so I've also got some of my um, spring interior exterior house paint acrylic house paint mixed up again with flow troll and water and I mix this one up a lot runnier um, just because I've found that's what works as a negative space color um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do three different ones one's going to be um, where's my pen one is going to be no um, no silicon. One is going to be silicon stirred, and one is going to be silicon mixed well. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to do pretty much exactly the same test um, I'm going to start out just do it I might even put a bit of this into the cup but um, put do a flip cup with blue and white and do a bit of a flip and drag so I'm not going to use a lot of paint in either of any of them and I'm just going to leave that add some silicon stir it how I would normally stir it do another flip and drag and then stir it really 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 well and do another flip and drag and see what shows up all right and I'm just thinking I might leave it a couple of hours and uh I don't know I'll see maybe I'll do a fourth one we'll see um so let's get started I'm gonna move these out of the way to start with and let's just do one at a time so I'm gonna put just a 
just a little bit of the negative space paint on here and just drag it around a bit now get my little cup and put a bit of blue a bit of red blue and red make purple and I like purple a bit white a bit more blue and a bit more red now these have no silicon they're just flow troll and water so let's see what shows up I'm going to show you the cup you can see that the blue is actually already separating um, it likes to do that, this blue. In fact, I find uh, most of the dark blues um, tend to like to do this. So, it's um, still a... I might have to... Oh yeah, it's draining. The good thing about using the clear cups is you get to see when it drains out. Um, so... Let's start to drag this around a little bit. Now we are actually getting cells with no silicon at all getting cells. How's it getting any better than that? So let's just Stretch that out. Okay. Can we see this? Let me zoom in. Look at this. I've got cells with no silicon. I've got cells. How's it getting any better than that? Give it a quick torch. So that's quite fun and funky and that's got no silicon in it. So let's put that one aside. And get our oh, oops, zoom you back out. Silicon stir. So let's get our silicon. So at the moment I've been using silicon Durex Play personal lubricant. And um you only like this is, this is a tuna tin it's nearly full um, so I would normally put three drips of silicon into that and stir 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 there we go and same into the red one two three if you're using this lid it's a flip top lid don't close the lid over your canvas why because sometimes it flicks silicon around and uh, here not such a great thing to do onto your canvas because so what what is the purpose of the silicon the purpose of the silicon is with oil normally sits on top of water right you can see that when you do your your dishes um, you all the silk all the all the oil rises to the top right so that's the purpose of this you put in your paint and um, that's a lot more blue than I did last time um, you put in your paint and because it's a water-based paint the silicon 
then rises up through the water based paint up onto the top and as it does it so it pushes aside the layers of paint therefore creating those cells um, so let's give this another go this time we have silicon in so we did get cells in the one without silicon and that can be all sorts of different combinations of things um, although I have been told that Floetrol um, can contributes to creating cells so maybe in the Floetrol so let's drag this one Now, there, right at the beginning, you can see what I would call a silicon cell. This here is where quite a big lump of silicon has come up um, through the paint. And let's see if we can get you to see that. You can see the different layers as it's come up through. And there's another one just to the side of it. There we go. This here is another one um, and you can actually see the layers of paint that it's come up through so we can start to see the silicon actually doing its thing we've got the lacing again over here similar to what we got with the um, no silicon and that's literally just the densities of paint so let's just stretch this out a bit. Now what I can see, and I'll try and show you here, you've got tiny little silicon spots as well. Um, so that's... That's what the silicon just normally stirred, just very lightly stirred. And let's see if there's any more silicon hiding in there. Oh, look at all that silicon coming up. So, there's two reasons we use the torch. One of them is to pop any air bubbles that are in there. The other one is just light, very, very, very lightly warm the paint making it more runny and therefore making it more easy for the silicon just to pop up and uh, come to the surface so already we can see a big difference between with and without silicon right okay so let's put that one aside and go to our third play toy So silicon well mixed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to really give these a really good stir. A bit like beating eggs, making mayonnaise, whatever you want to call it. Mixing, oops, and making a mess. <laughs> um, let's get this out of the way Well, I make a mess. Um, mixing really really well and you know it's not not necessarily what you would do to start with but what might happen is you make up some paint you put your silicon in you do a painting you put the lid on that paint come back next time and you're checking whether or not the consistency is still right so you're stirring it you're checking it and then you go oh yeah this one's already got silicon in it but in that stirring process you have just broken up all that oil into tiny 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 particles and um so let's do the same thing with the red like i can actually see and i don't know if you can i can see the oil sitting on top of this uh, purely from not stirring much let's give this one a bit of a whipping as well the other thing you'd get when you stir like this is you get air bubbles into the paint which 
come out with the with the gas torch but if you're just you're wanting this cells from the silicon then um, you might not want to whisk your paint so much so let's um, put our puddle in the middle again Now, as you can see, this is a good example, and I'm going to talk about this as well. Um, why why do we put negative space on there? You can you can just paint straight onto a canvas. You can just do you know um, your spiral pour straight onto the canvas. Flip and drags. You do need a base like this, but um, as you can see, where it's dry, where the paint is hitting the dry. Kind of rolls over and it's not so obvious with this white but when you've got lines from your spiral pour they kind of get folded underneath and um, you lose them as they get lay down lay down their life um, so that's why I like to put the um, the white down when I'm doing a spiral pour that way the paint can just move and ebb and flow without rolling under onto the dry patch. Right, so let's zoom you back in so you can see what gets created on this one. So, another clean cup. So, stir it again just to make sure that anything... And paint in. Stir it again. This one's for you, Camille. Ooh, ooh, there's a big lump of white on that one. Try not to get big lumps because then you have to fish them out and that disturbs your paint. So more white, uh, more blue, and some more red. And let's flip it. One, two, three, go. So, what we're going to hopefully see this time is you will still get silicon dots. But they'll be tiny. They won't be those big, yummy, luscious um, ones that we got in the other one. Let's... Flip and drag on cardboard's not so easy because the cardboard starts to um, bend and warp and you're not getting... Is this going to make a liar of me? <laughs> Maybe I didn't stir it quite so much. Alright, so there we go. Again, we've got... We do have cells. We have one really big one in the white there. And we've got some of the lacing from dragging. And it's hard to tell whether that lacing is actually where the silicon is. We do seem to have more of it than we had on the no silicon. Just moving that around a bit. And Let's torch. See what happens. Where's my cells? There's a couple of them coming out there. Down in here. But they're pretty small. So let's line them up. Let me show you this one. We've got a few little small ones coming out, but nothing like the small stir. So let's line them up and show them off.
So, which one are you after? What effect are you looking to create with your paintings? That's really the biggest question. Um, so often we get, we pie into the point of view about what it should look like and what it shouldn't look like and how it should be. But the real question is, what effect are you after? What effect would you like your painting to be? Um, and if some of you might really, really like just the drag effect. Some of you are after the bigger cells and some of you are after the smaller ones. So what is it that you're after? What are you looking to create? And if you're not looking to create what you're creating, doing the same thing and expecting a different result is the definition of insanity. Um, so what could you change? What could you do different? What else is possible that you haven't looked at? Um, and how much fun can you have playing and experimenting and looking at what else is possible? Now, some of you are thinking, oh my goodness, Michelle, you've wasted all that paint. Because, you know, there's still a lot of paint in here. Um, and one of the cool things is if you leave it long enough, the oil does rise to the top eventually. Um, I haven't emulsified it completely. And... Um, it will rise back up to the top and just a quick single stir will get me back into here. So it's not wasted, it's not ruined. Don't worry your pretty little head about it, my dear. So <laughs> what else is possible when you are being you and choosing what's fun for you? So Camille, this one's for you. Thank you for your question in the comments on my videos and um if any of the rest of you have any questions, and Camille, if you've got any other questions, please, please, please pop them in the comments. I'd love to hear from you, and I'd love to play with your questions, your ideas, and your ponderings. How much fun can we have together? Thanks heaps. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.